So now that Milo is ready for his another mission, we are going to give Milo a motion sensor. First thing we do is we add a brick with a socket and then we attach it to the side like this. Next, we're going to get a long plate, just this long yellow one, and then we're going to attach it like this. Next, we're going to get a seven module long axle and then attach two uh, ball joints onto the end. So let's look for an axle and then let's have a measure to see if it's seven modules long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Oops. This is a seven module long axle. So now we're going to attach the ball joints onto the axle. Then we're going to add another brick with a socket end. All right, now let's attach it to Milo's body, like that. And the cool thing about the ball joint and the socket is that it can swivel around and move around. And that's really important for a sensor because we want to be able to change the direction of what we're sensing depending on our mission. All right, next we're going to look for the motion sensor. Okay, so let's put Milo down, lift up our box and look for our motion sensor. If this looks like our motion sensor, now don't get this confused with our other sensors because the motion sensor looks like it has a pair of eyes on the front. Okay, so we gotta make sure that we get the right sensor. Let's attach it to Milo here. And then on the back of Milo, let's put the cable into his other slot. All right, so Milo now has a real motion sensor. Let's put Milo down and give him something to sense. Grab one of these circular plates and attach one of these cylinder blocks onto the end. Attach a second one, just like that. Looks a little bit like an Oreo, doesn't it? Now we're going to Make a flower and then attach the flower to one of the sides. And we get two little reeds and we can attach them like that. Okay. Now we have both Milo and a specimen for which he can try to detect with his motion sensor. Let's see how we can code Milo so that when he sees this specimen, he's going to stop moving. Now we are going to do some code to make Milo use its motion sensor. So when we want to use the motion sensor, we use some very special blocks. First thing is we make Milo move forward. So we go down to the bottom and drag one of these motor power blocks up again. And we don't want it to go too fast because we want Milo to take his time and make sure he's not missing anything with his motion sensor. So eight is a little bit too fast. We're going to set it to say four. Let's tap on the number eight, set Milo's motor speed to four. Then we are going to go down the bottom and drag another motor direction block. Again, make sure it's going clockwise. This makes sure that Milo is going forward. Then we are going to add 
a timer block, but we're not going to add the motor timer block, we're going to add a special wait timer block, which is yellow. Now this one has a one on it. What this normally means is that we are waiting for one count, but we don't want to wait for one count, we want it to wait until something moves in front of the motion sensor. And the motion sensor is this orange block here. With two arrows, it's showing uh, anything moving back or forth in front of the motion sensor. Let's drag that onto the yellow time block. So let's drag that up. It bumps away the one, and now it's going to uh, be a motion sensor on that weight block. Next, we're going to make it so that when we encounter something in front of this motion sensor, it moves to the next step. And that next step is to stop the motor. Here, we're going to stop the motor. And then finally, we're going to say, okay, we are moving, we uh, see something move in front of the sensor, we're stopping the motor, and now we're going to make a noise. Just in case Milo is a bit far away and he can make some noise so that we know that he's found something. Okay, so this is the code for the motion sensor. Now, for a, a reminder, let's have a look at what each of these blocks are doing. This is the play block. Then we are setting the motor speed to 4. Then we are making sure that the motor is spinning clockwise. And this will keep on happening, keep on spinning until something happens. Now this is a wait block or a time block. This will keep on spinning, keep on spinning until something is detected moving back or forth on the motion sensor. And if something is detected moving back or forth in the motion sensor, it goes to the next step. Over here, this is where the motor stops. And then once it stops, we're going to make a little noise. Let's see that in action. Alright, so now you can see Milo has moved and it will keep on moving until it detects something change in front of its motion sensor. In that case, it was the plant specimen. And then once it detected something change in front of the motion sensor, it stops the engine. And then, finally, it makes a little noise. Congratulations, that is the code to make use of Milo's motion sensor.